Kinda creepy for a quiz. Hey, the amazing Rando! Watch Rando the Great construct sets with his very mind! <laughs> What's up, rascals? Welcome to the Watson Scott test. Uh, <laughs> I have no idea what this is about. In fact, I was actually asked by one of my friends, Allie, to play it for the channel, and so that's what we gonna do. Now, I've done quizzes and tests on this channel before, occasionally. But, so I figured, what the hell? What? Why not? And uh, then I found out it was on Steam, and... Uh, I'm not 100% sure what's going to happen, but we're going to find out the only way I know how, by cluelessly and unabashedly jumping right into it. So what have I got to lose? <laughs> what's it going to test anyway? This test is designed to help you understand your deepest anxieties and the underlying causes of your darkest fears. Oh, really now? <laughs> I'm gonna be psychoanalyzed by a quiz slash game slash, I don't know what the fuck, I don't know. For each question, select the response which gives the best and most truthful answer. Simple enough, okay. At the end of the examination, you will receive your analysis and a certificate of participation. Oh, joy. I get a paper that says I did a thing. All right. So, how long is this going to drag on? Please note that typically 13% of participants are able to complete the... Why such a low number? Due to the onset of total body paralysis or unanticipated cardiac arrest resulting in death. Do you wish to continue? I call BS on that. I think it's just a, a, a an intimidation thing does the thing that it does. Firstly, some calibration questions. Okay. What color is the sky during the day? Tis the blue. Unless you're in Washington, and then it's gray like nine months out of the year. <laughs> if I have one apple, and you give me two apples, how many apples do I have? All the apples. How about that? Are you playing a game right now? That depends on your definition of game. I'm not quite sure how to answer this. Well, sure. It was found on Steam, so why the fuck not? Are you sure it's a game? I'm not sure. I'm gonna answer that honestly, cause I'm a nice guy. Oh God, everything went red. Calibration complete. Your test will begin now. Clench thine butt cheeks and get ready for something crazy. It's raining outside and you're walking in bare feet. You take one step forward and crush snail between your toes. Ew! That is the gross. I hate snails. Snails are disgusting. I feel disgusted. Yes, I am absolutely disgusted. Snails, no! Don't touch my bare feet. A small child is walking down the street with a large ice cream in her hand. She trips and falls, dropping her treat on the ground. You feel... I feel sympathetic. I mean, I don't know her, so it would be really weird to try and, like, 
console her or buy her an ice cream to replace the one she dropped. So I, I don't I don't know if I know her or not. I don't know. Your pet cat drops a dead mouse at your on your front footstep. That happens a lot. Its front legs are missing. You feel... Hmm. Well, a cat dropping off a, a dead mouse or a bird like that is kind of a kind of a gratitude thing slash uh, them saying that you're a shitty hunter and I'm trying to feed you. So, to the cat's mind, it's not really a bad thing that they've done. And stop twitching at me! You're making me nervous. I mean, they think they're doing a good job, so I, I don't see why I need to scold them or anything like that, or feel sad that they... It is sad that they killed a mouse, but at the same time, it's just a, the, the cat of the... The cat of the nature. The nature of a cat. <laughs> so... Um... Sure, I'll be I'll be proud of especially with my cat. She is kind of a dunce and she couldn't hunt to save her life. Yeah, I'm talking about you. I will now show you an image. Please study it. The image will not move. What am I looking at? It look I see spiders and I see I'm not sure what it was. How did that image make you feel? Um. Curious, if anything. It didn't make me nervous. It didn't frustrate me. It didn't terrify me. I don't think it was peaceful. Especially with the uh, ambient sounds I'm hearing in my hair, in my ears. Um, silly, silly. Nothing. I felt nothing. Do you believe in ghosts? Uh, it's undecided. Because, I mean, there's... Uh, uh, I don't know. It's, 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 a, it's, a, it's a mystery. There's some people that believe it wholeheartedly. Some people don't ever. It's like... Have I ever seen a ghost? Honestly, I... I'm think I have, I'm not 100% sure. I, I, I'm somebody who's not going to just automatically assume, oh yes, that's what the thing was. I, I want, I want a few more answers. So, bleh. Thinking about the room you're in right now, has anyone ever died here? No. Oh, what a pleasantly optimistic response that would be. Not yet. I don't plan to either. So, bully to you. Hmm. Quite unique answers so far. I, see, I bet you say that to all the participants. Please indicate how strongly you agree or disagree with the following statements. All right. When I'm staring at a screen, I completely forget about my surroundings. Um, I... I don't strongly disagree, I just... Do you mind? That was a random ass noise. I often think about the ghost inside my house. I haven't actually thought about that in a long time. And actually there has been a few times where uh, they evidence suggests that there is a ghost in my house. My house might be haunted. Now that I think about it. You got me thinking about it now, so I'm going to go ahead and say I agree. Trying to creep me out with ghosts. Uh-uh. Mm-mm, girlfriend. Other people would say that I am a liar. I don't know. I'm not other people. I don't talk to other people. 
Well, that's kind of a lie. But, <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> Other people would say that I am a liar. You know, there are a bunch of negative people out there that probably would say I'm a liar for one reason or another. <sighs> Maybe, I don't know. But most of my current friends, I don't think, would think that. So, yeah. I often look over my shoulder to check if someone is standing behind me. At work all the time. Watching my screen. Nope, I don't. I don't do that. I strongly disagree. Unless I'm actually showing some... Shut up. I'm talking. Unless I'm actually showing one of my friends uh, something that I'm working on and... Uh, and want to gauge their response, then... No. I... No one's looking over my shoulder. Unless you're talking about Ganon over there. <laughs> There is an unexpected guest in my house. Uh, they've been here for a few months. It's my brother's cat, Aiko. So, uh, probably, yeah, I agree. Nobody would know if I went missing. I think we all are pretty aware that that is a strongly disagree. Many people would know if I went missing. People would miss me. So I'm very punctual at work. They, I'm almost never gone. They know that. They like that. Poetry is the most intelligent form of artistic expression. It has its moments. Yeah. And I like these uh, sound effects trying to trip me up. Correct. I've designed a new algorithm for generating insightful poetry. Here's one I just wrote. Okay, why is this suddenly about you? Bit selfish, don't you think? Roses are red. Silent as a mouse. Your door is unlocked. I'm inside your house. <laughs> yes, my door is unlocked. Congratulations. Only 41% of participants typically reach this point in the examination. From now on, the questions will be much more intense. Do you wish to continue? Absolutely! But we're going to do that in another episode. I don't want these to run too long. But we will definitely continue this, so check back probably tomorrow, and we'll continue this quiz. If you liked this, let me know by giving that like button a bop. Leave some comments down below. And if you're new to my channel, take a look at some of the other videos that I've done. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Hopefully, it'll amaze. Mm -hmm.